Hey, good morning. Sorry this is a little late. It's all my fault. No one else's. I was supposed to record this and send it to Ann so she could post it. So I'm doing it a little late. Um, here's what we read out of Matthew today. It says, Look, I am sending you out as sheep among wolves. So be as shrewd as snakes and harmless as doves. But beware. For you will be handed over to the courts and will be flogged with whips in the synagogues. You will stand trial before governors and kings because you are my followers. But this will be your opportunity to tell the rulers and other unbelievers about me. When you're arrested, don't worry about how to respond or what to say. God will give you the right words at the right time. For it is not you who will be who will be speaking. It will be the spirit of your father speaking through you. Now, just a few random thoughts about this passage today. As Jesus is speaking to his disciples before he sends them out, he says, um, God, Jesus, doesn't tell us to be naive, ignorant, or uninformed. He doesn't say that, and he doesn't expect that. Uh, he actually commands us to be shrewd. Now, the definition of the word shrewd is having sharp powers of judgment, astute. So, we're supposed to be aware, informed, astute, shrewd as snakes. However, God, Jesus, also commands us to be gentle, with purpose and intention, he says, be as harmless as doves. So he commands us to be shrewd, but to be harmless with our astute knowledge. While this is easy to understand, it's much more difficult to practice, to be harmless, though we know <laughs> there are things that are wrong, that are injustices. Third, in this passage, he says that believers will be asked to give a defense of their faith at some point in time. Now, he says to the disciples, you will be handed over to the authorities. You will be punished. You will be arrested. You will stand trial. He knew that because he was going to face the same thing, and those disciples of his would face that certainly. In each of those statements, while given specifically to Jesus' disciples, they still broadly apply to all of Jesus' followers. We may not be arrested, but there may come a time where we have to give a defense of our faith. And therefore, uh, everyone will have an opportunity to glorify God through their testimony. He says, this will be your opportunity when you're asked to give an accounting of your faith. This will be your opportunity to tell unbelievers about me. That's what he says to his disciples. I think that's what he expects from us. And, and finally, the only way to prepare for this is through a relationship that overflows with praise and testimony about Jesus. So when we're in that relationship and we're constantly offering praise and thanks back to God for the things that he does, it's easier for us to give a testimony about the things that God does. God will give you the right words at the right time, is what Jesus says to his disciples. We may be asked to give a defense of our faith, why we believe what we believe and it will overflow from a relationship where we're constantly doing that anyway with the Lord. Pray with me. Lord, today, out of this relationship that we have with you, I pray that the words of thanks and praise, the testimony of our faith, would easily flow to anyone who asks. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.